not possible, correct? Why? Because you want to take a good decision because you will be using that mobile for 2 years, 3 years, 5 years, whatever. So the agenda of today's <coughs> seminar is to make you more aware about the careers so that you can take a very good decision which will stay throughout your life. So if you are investing so much time in researching about mobile, uh, talking to your friends, talking to your seniors, talking to your juniors, see what is the latest technology. So this is also similarly very important. In fact, more, 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 much more important than that. Okay. So now, uh, uh, ma'am has already given an introduction. I'll just uh, quickly add the point. So uh, I have done my B from Sadar Patel College of Engineering, STC, Mumbai. Immediately after that, I got selected to uh, a government job, junior engineer in electricity uh, uh, board. Okay, but my passion was towards training. Okay? So I left from there. I started my career towards training. Uh, spent few years, then I felt that there's a need to do masters because uh, there was a stagnancy without masters. I was not able to move up. Then I completed my masters from Chandala Bajaj, again a college from Mumbai. Uh, Again worked many years in the education industry and in 2020, uh, just before COVID, okay, I was, uh, there was a too much data science buzz going on. So I thought let me have one more master's under my profile for, for the profile building and I completed my master's from IIIT Bangalore okay, and PG diploma uh, in data science. Now today, uh, let's keep this seminar very formal. If you want to ask any doubt in between, please raise your hand. If you have any other doubt also, apart from which the topics which I am covering, feel free to ask. Okay. Do not hesitate. I want that when after 50 minutes when we are covering this, you should not have any doubts related to career. Okay. We can discuss even after this. I will be giving my LinkedIn profile. Okay. You can stay in, uh, stay in touch and you can ask any question even after this. Okay. Now, uh, before I start, I want to ask. So, Everyone is fifth semester, sixth semester. Okay. Just started. So I, I, I'm sure that taking admission to engineering might have not been your call. Maybe it was TQ, peers, parents, or Pesa. Okay. So I'll not go into that. Now, since two years are already over. Have you ever thought now where you want to see yourself? This is not an interview, by the way. You want to see yourself after completing your engineering. Or forget about engineering. Where do you want to see yourself in three, four years down the line? What you visualize about you? Where you want to see yourself, whether working uh, in a private sector, working in an IT company, working in a core sector, or studying. Uh, 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 so everyone is EC branch, correct? Yes, Studying VLSI in IIC Bangalore, which is a green destination for many. Any any thought process? Any anything? Anyone? Kuch socha hai, nahi socha hai? Nothing. Acha, how many wants to do job? No one. How many wants to go to Himalaya or to Tapasya? <laughs> So how many wants to build profile to have one more tag on the CV and would uh, 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 get this profile from a uh, IITs or IISC or any 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 big college? Nothing. So let's book a ticket for Himalayan. Let's everyone go and let's stay there. So you should be becoming a mom who will never sell this Ferrari. So okay. Now, uh, if I generally, uh, if I talk about any engineering guy, these are the five areas which anyone can work. Okay, the first area is either you will be going for a private job, or you will be uh, going for a government job, or you will be uh, thinking about higher studies, whether in India or abroad, or you will be thinking towards research. Okay, maybe some of you uh, are interested towards research opportunity. And maybe you have some business idea and you want to actually uh, take it to the market. Okay, so these are the five broad categories generally everyone possible. Okay, now whatever category 
you choose to be in, there are two sides, okay? One is either if you are thinking for job, there is a side where it gives a package of 3 to 4 lakhs per annum, kind of unstability and no time and money for upscaling. There is other side also where the package will be 8 to 10 lakhs, stability and funded upskilling. What is this funded upskilling? I will be talking about this in a bit. Higher education, again, average college, high fees, no support for the uh, uh, scholarship, no global recognition. Amazing college with low fees where the scholarship is also provided. And business startup, again, there are two sides, struggling for funds and resources. Because I do not believe that a business struggles because of idea. Idea, you lot, lot of you have idea, but the main is resources and the funds. Okay, Initial incubation period. Yes. And the other side is easy government and investor funding. And I'm sure everyone everyone wants to be on the greener side. Okay. So now, uh, can you tell me what is that one thing which is stopping you to go on the greener side, or which is a roadblock? Lack of planning. Yes, someone had answered correctly. Skills. Okay. This is the Bangalore answer. You need skill. Now skill you can acquire. Uh, by learning, skill you can acquire by working. Okay, there are various ways. Sometimes, sometimes people get confused. No, no, skill can be acquired only by learning. The first job which you choose in your life, that is a foundation of your career. So whatever you will be learning in that first job becomes a very good skill for you. Okay. Now, uh, the what I feel <laughs> sometimes people have not taken decision. Uh, with that motivation that I have to learn, the decision comes with a force. No, no, go for engineering. Why will not go for engineering? Okay. So that force comes because of the dream of parents and everything. Okay. So that's why the clarity is missing. And hence, you do not invest properly while studying. Every college has professors. Every college has labs. But that interest is not there. So that interest has to come. And as a result, so as a result, see what a chairman of a biggest IT company has to say. See, 85% of engineering graduates do not have that relevant skill or that skill which is which makes them employable. She is not trying to say that you know 85% of engineers will not get job. They will get job but maybe not up to mark and maybe company will have to invest a lot in to train them. That's why many IT companies what they do, first six months they will be training you. And that scenario also gone nowadays. Now uh, as a result what happens? Suppose uh, you do not have proper skill and you directly go to a job, suddenly what happens, company feels that you are not worthy to keep in the company, so they will start removing you. Now, let me talk about the COVID scenario, okay. Everyone I think aware that in COVID, bulk hiring was happening, especially for the technology. Now, if you will see the scenario, many tech layoff is happening, many means in huge numbers. Can anyone guess a reason what has happened? Why suddenly in the period of one year they thought that whatever hiring we have done, now we don't need them. What has happened? Any any random guess? I am not expecting right answers. That's fine. Please, let's discuss. This is a layoff trend from 22 to 23. This data is updated till mid-November. Okay. You can see October has gone up again. Okay, September was slightly down, again October has gone up. What do you think? What could be the reason? Anyone? Yeah, please. I think uh, during COVID, uh, the productivity was low because they were in home. So the company thought uh, we should uh, employ more. And then suddenly when people came and then they started pushing and then the company came to know that, okay, we don't need this many people. Uh, uh, productivity is one challenge, but that could have been solved. But the real uh, challenges. So in COVID, all the companies that bought, 
that now people will not come out of homes even when covid is over so how how can how can they assume this thing they were thinking that people will like eat at home people will study at home people will, uh, will watch movies at home and you know even when the lockdown was not limited people were going out so this was a miscalculation they thought now technology more technology will be needed so they have to invest a lot on technology and then suddenly they realize no no it is not happening human beings are human beings they want to come out of their nest not nest jail se bahar aana chahte hain log and it actually happened everyone started coming out okay apart from that the college mein koi nahi aana chahta tha that is a different story okay so now that is the actual reason now you might term this as a recession recession word sabko pata hai na yeah now let me ask a question a different question to you as by the way Uh, not, I'm not talking about small companies here. Okay, there are a lot, many big companies which are on the list who has done firing. Okay, now let me ask a question about this recession. What do you think? What do you think? What is the frequency of recession? What is the frequency of a recession? Any idea? Acha. This recession you are now witnessing. In fact, US is going in deep recession right now. Last recession, the COVID, I will not say recession because obviously the reason was something different. But again, people lost, many people lost their jobs. Okay. Then before that also there was some recession. Okay. Do anyone can guess what is the frequency of recession? <coughs> so recession frequency is. This is one unemployment chart. Okay, if you see, whatever the peaks are there, okay, the first peak, the second, so all the peaks is talking about unemployment rate. Wherever there is a peak, that means that time there was some issue in the market, and that we term the recession. If you, this is data from 1950, 1950. So if you just see the data and analyze, you will find that the recession frequency is seven to eight years. Considering that, if you are Work life is around 20 years, for example. Suppose if you are planning early retirement, because this is a trend nowadays. So 20 years, we at least three to four times of definitely recession on that. Definitely means definitely. In my career, this recession will be the third time, which is coming. Okay. Reason can be anything. Reason can be COVID. Reason can be subprime. Reason can be Y2K. Or Reason can be war. Okay. So reasons. Where do you use the reasons? Okay. Now you cannot control recession. It is very obvious. Now what should we do now? If you are if you are not able to control the recession, what you should do? Very good. I just talk about my profile a little bit. Okay. Immediately after completing my masters, there was a recession, 2009. Okay, when I completed my masters. Okay. But because of the college, that profile which I had built, I have never ever in my career touched faced a single day job loss. What happens actually when you are a fresher? The profile, the college team. The skills which you have, not only freshers, the initial three four years of the career, a lot depend on how you have invested your uh, initial three four years or where you have invested time while studying, while doing your B Tech or Masters. Okay, you will change n number of companies, but one thing will remain constant. That is the profile of the college which you have on the on the CV. So. The answer is invest your time in quality education. Now I I just tell here again, quality education has many definitions. You either you can go for masters in any of the top colleges where recruiters are actually hiring in good numbers. You can actually get into such a job initially which actually teaches you a lot. Okay, that is also investing your time in profile building or skill building. Now, since here we are restricting, uh, since there is a time limit, we'll be talking about how to actually uh, uh, the best career 
options for engineering students is how we can either go to higher studies and which of the colleges we have for the higher studies and why we should go for those colleges. Second is if you have to, you cannot go for the college, then how to crack for the government jobs and why you should crack for the government jobs and there are few unknown facts which you will be talking about. Okay. We will ask anything in between. Okay. So first thing is MTech or MS in IIC, IITs and NITs. Okay. Now, uh, can you tell me why we say that ki these colleges, if you are studying in these colleges or if you are doing any degree from these colleges, you will be having a great respect throughout your life. What is the reason? Amazing exposure or quality education. Okay. So, can you tell me some reasons why these colleges uh, has a big brand name? Why recruiters trust the students of these colleges? What is the reason? Huh? Practical, amazing, practical college. Anything else? There are many factors by the way, and we'll be talking about each factor. Uh, skills, yeah, knowledge, practical knowledge, skills. It's not that easy to crack. The way of teaching uh, means how a faculty is teaching, keeping the real application in mind. Huh? Anything else? Let me talk about all those six pillars. So, pillar for any quality education, for any college, these are the important pillars. Experience, faculty pool, and the mix should be from industry as well as academia. Real time projects, if you get a chance to work on real time projects. Globally recognized, so that anywhere you are applying, you have, oh, he's from that college. That all factors should be there. Strong industry connections. College must have strong industry connection for the internship, for the placements, and there is one more thing which I am talking in the later slides. Good internship and placements and business spirit. Okay. How that college is supporting you to actually work on your idea, giving funds, giving resources, so that you can actually test your idea for the market. Okay. And last, if a college has all these things. And if it's affordable, then definitely it will be good move. Okay. Now, the first pillar was the faculty. Okay. I will take some of the examples very quickly from different different colleges. Then you can guess yourself why these colleges are good. Okay. So these are some of the professors. Sorry for the commenting actually because the smart board is not showing the proper comment. So Dr. Sina Rao, he is a faculty at IIC Bangalore. He is Bharat Ragna. He is father, father of Indian nanotechnology. Okay, nanotechnology. Dr. Manindra Agarwal, Almashri, and he is scientist at DRDO. Just imagine if these people are teaching. Dr. K. Adarishan, everyone knows him with, uh, for his Mangal animation. Okay, he was heading his show at that time. He was teacher at IIT Rupert and IIT Kanpur. So, what you get in these colleges, you get a mix of faculty from the academic background and also mix of faculty from the industry. Do you think this balance is required? Because when the faculty is from the industry, don't you think they will be teaching what is required in the industry? What is right now relevant in the industry? Not what is outdated. Okay. There are some more names you can see. In fact, Santi uh, Sarup, or Patnagar Prize is called as uh, Noble in India, in engineering segment. Uh, Dr. Prakar from IIT Bombay, Sanvitra Nam from IIC Kolkata, a very big institute for those who love stacks and want to make their career in stacks. Dr. Rajat Puna, uh, he, is, he teaches at IIT Gandhi Nagar. Okay. Now, in fact, he is heading IIT Gandhi Nagar. Okay. So, these are some of the faculty that I, obviously I cannot take all the names. Okay. Now, second pillar was innovative project. Let's see what kind of projects actually they are working on. These are some recent examples. You can Google it, you get n number of examples. IIT Rupert is working on the nano bubble technology which will reduce the water usage in textile industry. Next war is going for going to happen for water. In fact, we are in Bangalore, we know what kind of crisis we are facing for the water. Every other three, four months that issue happens. Okay. Just imagine if you become a part, just see, just believe that if this project comes on your CV. By the way, do you know that when you are working on a project in IIT, you are getting paid also? Do you know about I? 
anyone? Okay, I will be talking about the RA in some time. So, IP Madras, they are working towards alternative fuel so that decarbonization happens. IP Jodhpur, bio jet fuel, okay, not cars, jet fuel. IP Vilay, smart insulin. These are some of the examples, okay. So, just imagine if you are working on this project. The learning will be amazing, the professors will be assisting you, the industry people will be assisting you and having this line on CV that you have worked on such a project will definitely help. Global recognition. How many of you know student exchange program of IITs? Anyone? Amazing. So, what is a student exchange program? Can anyone? A student from uh, IIT goes to outer uh, somewhere else and then some other students come from here. Bang on. So let me show you some of the university names where IITs or NITs have tie-ups. So some examples I have taken. You can see IIT Bombay has tie-up with MIT, USA, ETS Zurich, Sanford, IIT Delhi, Again University of California, Madras, uh, and US Singapore, a uh, dream destination for many, many IIT Kharagpur, Again University of Manchester, uh, IIT Kanpur, Sanford, IIT Rudy, and so many. Okay. So what is the student exchange program? Next stage means, suppose I am a student at IIT, I will be going to any of these uh, uh, universities on the fund from the college. Okay, so short term visit, this is a short term visit where you as a student from India go to those universities and some students from that university come here. This is to learn a cross geography culture need requirement. Okay, for example, if you are making a product uh, for Japan, for example. Or for a Singapore. Don't you think you should be aware about the need of this market? You should be aware about the geography. So this is done because of that. So obviously if you are going there, so the recognition will always be there because these colleges are known everywhere. The next one, industry collaboration. Industry collaboration generally people say it is required for placement or internship, but there is one more thing, it is required for funds. For what funds? Whenever so Every college has incubation cell, right? But IITs has much bigger incubation cell. I will be talking about the funds very soon. First, see the some of the examples. Accenture and IIT Madras, they are collaborating to work on the industrial automation. Again, a dream profile for many of you. Next is, see here, Nandan Nilikani, he keeps on donating money to different colleges. He has recently donated 315 crore for the research and development and also a good amount of money goes to the uh, incubation. IIT Bombay has partners, uh, partners with, uh, partnership with Casper C to promote cyber security. IIT UT and SD Noel, they are working towards excellence in education, research and innovation. Now, very important part, internship and placement. Achha, how many of you have done internship? There was a compulsory internship. Huh? So where all you have done? Company is Quad power. Huh? Was it a paid internship or free? Paid. paid. So how much the salary you got? Both semester 